The 40th annual Houston World Series of Dog Show starts today at Energy Park. Their motto is come, sit, stay. <laughs> so in that vein, we thought we'd share some dog training tips from the experts out at the Houston Dog Ranch. Yes, yeah, Sherry Williams is there in Spring Branch this morning. Sherry, we learned yeah. a lot from you guys last hour. What are we learning this hour? Okay, we're going to learn some common things for people with household pets that are not acting the way they should. First of all, yes, we're here at the Houston Dog Ranch. This place is amazing. It's four beautiful wide open acres. You see those cabins over there? They're 10 by 10, the size of a nice living room. Individual private cabins for dogs. They have flat screens and fireplaces. Uh, this is Lindsay Gibbons. She's on staff Hi. here. And this is Goose. Goose is actually a current boarder. Yes, she's a boarding school. Now, Goose is a, how shall we say, very energetic and. She's a high energy teenager. Energy teenager. Yeah. <laughs> Using Goose, what are some things that people need to know to train their dogs, especially if they just got the dog? So probably the most important thing I would start with is just attention, just name recognition, teaching them their name. Because if you can't get their attention, then how are you going to teach them any other How hard cheers? is it to teach a dog a new name? You got the dog, was named something else, maybe you got a rescue dog, mm -hmm. and you want to give it a new name. How long does that usually take? Um, it kind of depends. I think it's usually pretty quick, especially if you're consistent. Mm -hmm. um, you can fade the other name. So it's just, you know, using that name and then treating them for it and starting to get them to understand what their name is. If you watch us on Facebook Live, we talked about so much, and that's one yeah. of the key things with dogs. <laughs> be consistent. Mm -hmm. Something can't be cute one day and then the next day. Oh exactly. my gosh, it's a capital offense. It's that won't work. Okay, you talked about default stay because Goose likes to jump up. Yeah, so she is a jumper and that's kind of what she's working on while she's with us. So what I'm teaching her, Goose, is that whenever she um, doesn't know what to do, she just offers me a sit. Okay. And Lindsay says that's good yeah. if you have the dog that jumps all over people when you first meet good them. Girl. And that's not always good for, especially little kids, old people. Yes. It can cause it can them to dangerous. freak out a little. Yeah. Let me just say, Goose has the softest, <laughs> silkiest hair you ever felt. And that clicking noise, yeah. that's a way the trainers get to tell the dog, this is what I want you to do. They say, don't tell the dog what you don't want them to do, <laughs> just what you want them to do. Thank you. That is uh, Terry Rolf over there. She'll be at the dog show doing dog dancing. And that's her dog. Thank you, Look at Lehua. It's Hawaiian. Cute. Oh my, Sherry, sorry. We're just, we're just, we're just enamored. Yeah. We're looking at the gorgeous animals <laughs> and uh, great tips this morning. Tell the dog what you want it to do, not what they're not supposed yeah. to do. I love that. I, I finally trained my dog to sit when I say sit. Good. And a couple of other things, but yeah. not a wide range of uh, I, commands. Yeah. We love them so. Yeah, That's we all do. we know. It's 627 right now. Coming up next.